Welcome, and thanks for joining me back here at the workbench, where I'm super excited to share with you a new project I've been working on with the fine folks over at Atticor. And uh, if you're joining us for the first time here, why don't you take a second uh, so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming uh, updates on this project. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And this is for everyone. If you haven't clicked on that bell yet, why don't you go ahead and do that as well so that uh, you get notified whenever we have any updates. All right, so now a little background on this project. Uh, I am working on book number two of my do-it-yourself animatronics. Uh, if you haven't seen book number one, there it is. I have a link for it down below. Uh, but one of the chapters I want to include in that is a chapter on soldering. And uh, soldering is kind of a dry subject, and I wanted to have uh, a project to include um, in there. And um, I went out and started looking, and we'll probably have a very simple uh, lighting LED uh, project for people to start with, but I wanted something a little bit more advanced, um, test the skills of uh, whoever's learning the skill, and um, also provide um, you know an end product that they could put to use um, with their um, animatronics or robotics projects. So I went online, couldn't find anything I really liked, and um, I wanted a kit, something that would be easy for people to, uh, you know, just order one thing. It had all the boards already made, um, all the right parts that fit, um, instructions uh, and that are clear, um, and, um, and the programming already done. So um, I got together with the folks over at Atticor, and, um, and this is what we've come up with. Um, this is version number one. This is the first beta test uh, version. Um, it's now uh, going out to a couple of, uh, of beta testers uh, just to make sure that we haven't uh, made any, you know, huge errors on this. And uh, currently um, it's got two programs written for it. And I'm going to show you those, um, give you a couple examples. Um, uh, it's a little robotics project for running a couple continuous rotation servos to run a little robot. And it's also uh, got a program for uh, running up to six servos. Um, as you can see, we've got uh, two joysticks right now, um, you know, each controlling two um, servos along with some slides. This was something I really wanted uh, for my puppeteering. Um, I really like the idea of having a couple of slide switches uh, included. Um, so uh, right now it works like, uh, you know, virtually all the other RC controllers out there. You can see up here, you know, I've got a wide variety. I love them. They work great. Um, but plans for this are to take it uh, beyond this. It'll do all of that stuff, you know, and run RC cars, and we'll have a motor controller for it uh, add on to the receiver board uh, um, in the future. That's one of the things we'd like to do. But uh, the primary thing that I want it for is for a, a puppeteering system. So in addition to just being able to live puppeteer your servos right now on a character like, like we can do, um, already, um, what the plan is that uh, you will be able to record that session onto the receiving board and uh, once you're satisfied with it, you're, that receiving board will operate as a standalone controller. So it, you'll be able to attach a PIR to trigger it and, uh, and put that into your uh, character and it will run the puppeteering of your character. So that's something truly unique. Uh, I think it'll really make that whole process of puppeteering um, that I enjoy so much um, a whole lot easier for folks. So uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you a couple examples. Now here we are running one of the Sumo Bots. Uh, this kit you can purchase from their website. It's really quick and easy to assemble. Uh, it uh, just uh, fits together and, and uh, you use hot glue to hold it together. But uh, just driving it uh, here with that right joystick, um, just like you would uh, any other normal RC controller. Now we switch over to what I think is the truly exciting part of this project is puppeteering servos uh, that you're using to control the movements of your characters. Now, of course, uh, standard controllers can already do this, uh, but we're going to add some tricks uh, that will make it uh, more appropriate for what we want to do. 
A uh, little bit on the functions of the controller. Uh, you can see the joysticks and the two slides. Um, up under my right finger and correspondingly on the other side, down the left side, there's a button that in future versions will be able to switch the joystick uh, between two different pairs of servos. Uh, bringing the total servos that you can control to 10. Uh, right now we're doing the six, like in the demo here. Um, up under my thumb there, you can see the on-off switch. And um, up above the joysticks, uh, those two switches there will uh, switch it between the modes. Uh, right now we have uh, two different modes, uh, this one and the one for the um, driving the sumo bot. But uh, we will eventually uh, be able to record a puppeteering session with the joysticks of a character um, onto the receiver board. It'll be stored onto the receiver board, and you will then be able to disconnect uh, the uh, RC controller, and um, the receiver will function as a standalone controller. So I'm really looking forward to that uh, being added into the programming. So watch for that. It's coming soon. Okay, that's it for now. Stay tuned to the channel. Watch for updates, not only on this project, but all the other stuff that we've got coming down the line. Um, and until I see you next time, keep on building.